It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. The last time that I just actually played random music, m- random music, wow. just put my entire thing on shuffle. Um, I can you, can you lower down the gain on the headphones real quick? Yeah, the last time I did that, I man, I was surprising myself a lot. I was like, wow, I really downloaded this all the way back in like 2015. Mm-hmm. Like, and I haven't heard this song in literally years. Well, this has been a really long intro. Hi, guys, welcome. Yeah, welcome, everyone. We were we were in the middle of a conversation about music, but we will stop that because now we're going to start a conversation about movies yep our podcast welcome to another episode of it can't be that bad <laughs> and i'm really sorry guys that was a really lame opening but it's gonna get a lot better a podcast about movies yeah <laughs> i don't know why i was talking <laughs> you like looked that. like an excited 10 year old boy that got his first direction <laughs> as soon as i said that i was like why am i talking like this? <laughs> yeah you sounded like a child you were like a, like a child that saw his first pair of tits like oh I, we're gonna be talking about boobies you know the first pair of boobies you saw um, I, what, I'm not gonna name drop. Oh, oh it's oh. a person. Like yeah, the first <laughs> no, pair of boobs no, no, you saw were a person. Celeb boobs. Or just in general, as a kid, <laughs> dude. I don't remember. Okay, because I like remember the random. first. Time. Okay, so check it out. Here's my funny story. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My brother's a little bit older than me. Yeah, he's about six years older than me. Okay, and I remember one time him and his friend were hanging out. Uh, his friend Philip and I walked into the room and they were watching Jerry Springer's Spring Break. Uh, Oh, that shit's uncensored. It was crazy. And so I walk in and they're doing like a pool party. And Uh uh, when they would, when the girls would lose a competition, they would have to take their top off and go down a slide. And as they went down the slide, everybody was singing, na, 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 na. hey, 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 goodbye. goodbye. So everybody's singing that. And I was a kid. I was little. I didn't know what was happening. I I was kind of excited. I didn't know what was going on. But then uh, as I got older, every time I would see either Jerry Springer hear the song or or see like boobs i would get like excited and i didn't know what of the three it was so it was a weird like half boner when i would see jerry springer or uh-huh. when i hear this song in malls and now i'm hearing this song because that song is a pretty common song yeah um, you just had a bunch of mixed emotions yeah same with i don't me. know if we should keep this story in but anyways. i do want to slide in one little thing <laughs> yeah go ahead i only know about the jerry springer show one, as a as a kid, uh-huh. because it was my grandmother's favorite show at my the time. My dad loves the show. My dad it was so. My dad actually odd. is a Maury fan, but same thing. Right, but he would play it around you as he, like while you were. Yeah, a kid. Oh yeah, he watches it now. What? Yeah. And like he wouldn't just tell you to get out of the room when it got a little bit like. No, I have a distinct memory trashy. of like someone being told like he is not the father, and my dad being like, ha 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 ha, slut. You <laughs> would just say that, <laughs> man. Your, your dad sounds like an evil villain. <laughs> he's not. He's a, he's um not an evil villain. Um, so guys, we are going to review movies here. Welcome to It Can't Be That Bad. Yep. Uh, we watched, uh, a, mo- a new movie. Yeah. A movie on Netflix right now that I think you guys should check out. Um, it stars Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Let's just say the name of the movie. Yeah, the movie is called Murder, Murder Mystery. Mystery. Um, I highly suggest you see this movie. So if you haven't yeah. seen this movie, uh, I would go ahead and stop listening go watch the movie because yes we're gonna we're, it's gonna we're gonna spoil it i'm not yeah. gonna we're gonna talk about the movie it's a murder mystery naturally yeah. uh and so if you want to have the mystery saved i would say go ahead and watch the movie first but if you're too lazy and you just want to listen to this podcast and we'll spoil it for you and, and you want to watch it afterwards, and then go back it'll still be fun it's a good movie yeah. i suggest you watch this movie. i had a lot of fun watching this movie man it was oh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie i took the least amount of notes i have of any of the movies that way i took not even two pages of notes yeah i caught myself laughing out loud genuinely yes, yes yep, i'm like yep. not even forcing myself some to serious, like it. some really good lines really good lines yeah. in this movie um i tried to figure out the mystery you know what i did really yes yeah. so uh let's should we just jump in the nitty-gritty and then yeah. we'll go and go into the movie from let's there? do it i'm down for that man all right guys so this movie is called murder mystery it was uh released in 2019 uh on uh, netflix so if you have a netflix subscription uh then there you, you can go. watch it um it's rated six out of ten on imdb Oh, excuse me. I missed some stuff. It's uh, rated R, I believe. Um, it is a 92, 93 minute runtime. Uh, and we don't know the budget of this movie. Usually we say the budget of the movie, but Netflix doesn't release that wow. kind of information. Does it come out later on eventually? No, Netflix doesn't release oh, that so kind of information. It really is a yeah. mystery. Uh, they did release how many people watch this movie in the first 72 hours. I bet you a bunch. Which huh? is really an interesting fact. But usually Netflix doesn't release numbers. That's kind uh-huh. of their thing. Um, but we have our own numbers. IMDb rated this movie 6 out of 10. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes rated this movie forty eight percent, and Metacritic rated this movie thirty eight percent. Underrated. Christian, our favorite game. What percentage of Google users? Ooh, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna score it high because it was good. Ninety five. 
Incorrect. 88% what? Google users. Hey, yes. I'm cool with that. Uh, but I think it should be in the 90s. Yeah, Of the man. movies we watch that are in the 90% this, this should be. And I, I think people need to hear about this movie. So here's yes. the synopsis. Um, if you don't want the movie to be spoiled, uh, here's the synopsis after this. Turn this off. Yeah. But subscribe still. Uh, subscribe and then turn this off. Yeah. <laughs> um, the synopsis is a New York cop and his wife go on a European vacation to reinvigorate the spark in their marriage. A chance encounter leads to a oh man i can't even read my writing a chance encounter <laughs> leads to the leads to them being framed for a murder of an elderly billionaire yeah pretty movie, straight guys. murder forward. mystery adam sandler uh jennifer aniston this movie is directed by a gentleman named kyle, kyle new yeah. and i know a lot about kyle new because he actually he's like from around here he's from around the bay area you know that right i i've heard i've heard pray tell of the of such legend um so he created the comedy central sitcom workaholics which is which is definitely how i know him yeah and um, and he actually has an improv uh, upbringing he went to clayton valley high school just hmm. like in concord dude and oh, he was on the improv team there with blake anderson and a few fellas that we know uh that's really that's yeah really really cool yeah our buddy jeremy dorado is on the improv team uh josh wolf whom i don't think you've met before is in a band with kyle Nuichek, known as fade up fade out bye bye check him out um but no i have a I have huge respect for hey, you really like this guy you know yeah, this guy dude, quite a bit because when I'm, workaholics, I, I had no idea that you knew so much about this guy yeah i mean like i i could kind of feel that the the comedy that kind of uh lining up with the comedy from workaholics in this and uh, like yeah i did i did i did kind of see how this movie um is very on par with that yes um but in in looking up in this movie this movie has been been trying to be made for a long time uh-huh. And so I'm yes. wa- so I'm wondering how much influence he had on the script because if there is very clearly those jokes that we get, mm-hmm. I'm wondering if he did bring a lot to the table. Yes. Really did kind of look at the script, and it's probably the reason why it ended up being made because he probably looked at the script and was able to tell his way, tell his story. Who else was uh, supposed to direct this? I read up a bit on it. Uh, I believe Charlize Theron was supposed to direct it. Not direct. It, she was going to be in it. Oh, was she going to yeah, be Jennifer Aniston's character? I think so. Initially, it was going to be her, Adam Sandler, and Colin Firth. Uh huh. Um, but then they dropped out, and then a couple other people signed on, and that was back in 2013. Oh, uh, wow! And it wasn't until 2018 did they start making this movie. So this movie was made fairly quickly, edited, shot, thrown on Netflix very fast. Boom. It's part of uh, Adam Sandler's like uh, crazy seven deal movie he made with Netflix. It's fucking good. Uh, it's a lot better than his other Netflix movies. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, Happy Madison like uh, has has been kind of like not doing too well lately, and for a Happy Madison film, this was killing, Knocked dude. Park. This was a creative way of bringing what the game of Clue to life. It was really interesting. My favorite part was: Have you ever done like a murder mystery dinner? Fuck yeah, not a dinner, but like uh, the improv team that were on Dragon Viper Cobra. We mm-hmm. used to do a bunch of shows that the theme was a uh, murder mystery, and it would be very much like okay, turn off the the set lights, and then like but but someone but, but would have die you, have you, you back gone on. to one? Nah, have dude. you ever been to like a professional? Like, too lazy for that i never get invited to shit like that dude well it's like a show dude you gotta buy tickets and then you go and have dinner it's, no. it's like a dinner show right have you ever oh. been to like a dinner show where they do this no one at a time so, so i've done a couple of different dinner shows and one of them was like a, a mobster one in, in orlando which was dope if everyone that gets sounds Disney cool World, you're a mobster we'll guy too out. um but the one we went to was a murder mystery at a wedding and so we go and we're at like the wedding reception. So the, everyone comes in like, oh, so the bride and the groom and the, the father, the bride and the uh-huh. mother, the, bride, the, uh-huh. the evil stepsister. And then there's uh, lights go out and then there's a murder. And then we got to try and figure out which one of these people did Insane. the murder. And we get to talk to them. We get to sit. So they're at the bar. So I'm going to go talk to grandpa at the bar and get to know grandpa. And then later on, like we're interviewing them and stuff. And then we try and guess. We write it down on a paper and we try and guess the murder mystery. I think this movie did an incredible job of making that experience in the yes movie. they really embody Being able it. To, to the adam sandler character and the uh, J- uh jennifer Jen aniston character the um, spitz the spitz nick and audrey spitz mm-hmm. um super grounded super like yes anytime we would have a question they would almost in my opinion where anytime i had a question they vocalized that question in that yes. scene well that's what comedy is you know we've been studying improv for a while now and but not but not they in the, point out the unusual mm-hmm. things in this fucking but not chaotic in the sense, world not even, i'm not even talking about that in, in the sense of like where you kind of get lost and kind of confused they'll be like oh yeah well that's so-and-so the uncle and you're like oh oh, oh. that's so-and-so the uncle they like were they really, so real, really be able to make it down and then they even do the like this is so-and-so now you get to here's your interview with them this is so-and-so here's their interview yeah. with them like they really did the murder mystery dinner in a movie 
incredibly well. I thought beautifully it was really well. orchestrated. Like, and and there was always a sense of direction. I was always entertained. All of these characters were so different, but so mm-hmm. so, so lively, and I, so I, funny. The relationship that Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler had, I think, is incredibly hilarious. Fuck the, yeah! It's almost the B story is almost their marriage, right? Mm-hmm. That's almost the most underlying. You almost forget about that their marriage is. Um, kind of on rocks in the beginning of the movie yeah yeah uh, it's until, kind of monotonous until it comes like you get lost in the dinner you kind of get conf- like yes it's such a good uh way to kind of lose yourself and then they bring it back in a real real grounded way uh where jennifer anderson finds out that adam sandler has been lying to her about being a, a detective not about not not being a detective about yeah. not being a detective he's been saying he is and he isn't um and you can see the hurt it's again yes. really good acting really Great. good it's really good pacing because it's brought back and it's part where you really aren't expecting it yeah. to come back. And a lot of like the funniest parts to me were the very subtle things that I feel like were only put in. And it was like, I feel like a lot of this was loosely scripted at times. I remember there was a scene in the hallway where uh, Adam Sandler talked about the fucking murder and she passes by this uh, like vase that has like this golden ball in it. Oh, and yeah. she's like, oh, I need Ooh, one I like of these this. at home. Yeah, she's like, oh, I like this. Yeah, and, and it was so it subtle right and she put it back down. But that's like a real, that's realistic yeah. like side banter. They have a great relationship. They have a great yes. real marriage I, th- I okay at first i didn't believe that a guy like adam sandler could uh-huh. be married to a woman like jennifer aniston uh-huh. i believe their marriage far more than i believe jennifer aniston's marriage in we are the millers or in, that's yeah. not a marriage her her relationship oh, with jason yeah. sudeikis yes i didn't believe that at all yeah um, that felt more fabricated but this was that felt like it's like it's funny right guys jason sudeikis and this yeah. hot chick right guys guys like they were still they were ground they had a good balance of being grounded and being hilarious I, at the I, same time i felt like that was a real marriage yeah i felt like they were a normal people dropped mm-hmm. into a silly silly mm-hmm. movie and they kept reminding us like that they're normal people in a silly silly yeah. movie um so adam sandler had some of my favorite lines um please go on ahead some of my favorite lines is when they're in the airplane and he sees jennifer aniston talking to luke evans and yeah. they're like close and they're kind of like touching uh-huh. and he and he's he sees him and he goes in an airplane and he goes holy shit there's a bar in this place yeah yeah <laughs> That's the first thing. That's the first thing that he points out. <laughs> and then he's like, and then the lady, the flight attendant, uh-huh. um, is like, um, excuse me, sir, this is only for first class people. And he's like, well, what are you mm-hmm. gonna do? She's like, well, I'm gonna call these like cops. He's like, I am a cop. Uh-huh. He's like, well, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get a beer and break up this little shindig that my wife's got going yeah. on here. Um, Side note that uh, that flight attendant was played by Jackie Sandler, his wife, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, great, great cameo, great yes. cameo. I've never actually seen her before. Have you? I've seen her in something, and I was trying to remember as i was watching but like i i, I didn't. she's in something um the other thing i thought was really funny was how he keeps buying allegra because it's one dollar cheaper yeah. than claritin <laughs> i don't and even then, know if it's a full dollar cheaper it, i think it's, it's like by cent <laughs> by it cents. might be it might be the difference of like 80 cents yeah uh, and then so so <laughs> jennifer Anderson is constantly asking him to buy claritin and he buys her allegra instead and then he goes hey you know what allegra in french means it means same as claritin <laughs> dude fucking dad jokes my other favorite one was uh he they're constantly ridiculing him for his marksmanship as a cop they say he barely passed his marksmanship <laughs> test and he's super sensitive about dude, it. they commit to that quirk <laughs> constantly it's he's such a missing. bad shot he, there's people at point blank range and he's got like a 45 and he can't hit he couldn't hit the broad side of the wall no. and then when he does make a good shot at the end of the movie spoilers uh he kind of whispers to him, he's like i was aiming for her foot he yeah. hit the girl in the in shoulder. shoulder yeah um the other one was when they're doing the, my last favorite line that he has is when they're in the car chase and they're in a Ferrari, mm-hmm. the the John the the Don John Ferrari, uh-huh. uh, and they're flying around and he's like goat and she goes around a goat and he's like man this is so incredible you're so hot another goat and he's like, <laughs> he's like he, he turns to her and goes do you like not like goats or something and she's like no I love goats, dude it would some really good bits in this film uh, while we're talking about quotes I have a little game for you Alejandro oh, okay, okay okay so I call this little segment quotes without context so what i'm gonna do for the next minute or two or so is i'm just gonna shoot some quotes at you and i'm gonna ask you to tell me what is the context behind that quote are uh, you hey, ready? Where are these quotes from though from this movie okay. oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> not just random <laughs> quotes <laughs> an eye for an eye makes both of us blind uh, <laughs> this one's from the passion of the christ so <laughs> <laughs> okay let's get this going all right um first quote mm-hmm. she's that kind of pretty that you don't even know what country she's from do you remember that from the movie? I I don't. Audrey, when they first board the yacht, sees Susie, the beautiful Japanese Oh, because they girl. don't know that she's Japanese because they've only seen her from behind. And <laughs> yeah. then she takes off her glasses and she's like, I'm Japanese. And yeah. she, he's like, oh, they can hear you yeah. because this isn't TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this 
<laughs> they were um, really close to her too. <laughs> they were in the same room. <laughs> All right, I like this game. Okay, uh, next quote: <laughs> Sex Machina. My, oh, yes. my breakout role. <laughs> Sex Machina is one of my favorite things because they meet the because every murder mystery, every murder mystery has a son. Uh, a hot actress or yes. like out of work actress. Um, there's always the the stepmom or yep. new girlfriend. There's always a, a, a general of some sort. Yes. And, uh, so they hit Colonel all, Mustard. They hit all of these parts. Pretty much a clue game, right? Yes, uh, and absolutely. So, and so there's the hot actress, and her breakout role was a movie called Sex Machina, which. Mm-hmm. Is a porn parody of the movie Ex Machina. That exists? It's got to be, dude. Okay. Sex Machina is such an easy joke. That has to be. We'll look it up afterwards. Or listeners, if you want to check it out and email us. Send us the link, answer. please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like the hills have thighs. But before we go off on that tangent, um, the next one. <laughs> He's smoking his dick? <laughs> oh, that was when um, the general or the colonel or whatever uh, has his Russian bodyguard put a cigar in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Good, good. Again, the constant joke was that they thought the general got his dick blown off. And then, like, at the end, yep. the guy's like, I'm going to shoot your dick off. And he covers it up. And Adam Sandler's like, Oh, huh, so he does that. <laughs> Real quick on that Adam yes. Sandler is the slowest to react to everything. Did you notice that? Yeah. So he's, like, not freaking out when, at anything. When there's gunshots, when people are screaming, everybody looks. And then Adam Sandler, like, half a second later, just kind of casually looks over with everybody else. I think it's one of the funniest. It's hilarious. Jokes. I'm I'm glad that he kind of embodied this like lazy husband, like don't give a shit type of attitude. Are you ready for the next one? Hit me. Um, I'm gonna drink you up like a milkshake without a straw. That was when the Maharashi is banging uh, the hot actress. Not even banging. He's like feeling her up bang. on the yeah, and then he just like busts in his pants like two seconds in. Poor guy. Um, <laughs> next one. Hey, Halloween. <laughs> That's the Formula One driver who sees the, the masked murderer. Uh-huh. And uh, and he's like, oh, that, that's because if they think he doesn't speak English. Uh-huh. Perfect. Dude, you're really good at this. And one final one. And this is it. one of my favorite quotes because without context, like, what the fuck does it mean? Grab the bottom and squeeze. That was going to be my, yep, I was You're actually going to, I was going to bring that up when we oh, brought up the man. Maharashi, uh, because that's Adam Sandler's response to how to not, um, <laughs> how to not fucking bust, bust early. early. My, Ooh. one of my favorite, one of my favorite bits in this movie mm-hmm. was when the first murder occurs, the, uh, rich billionaire Quincy, Quince, Quince, uh, Malcolm Quince is murdered. Uh, there's a knife and they're like, oh, we should take the knife out. And then like, no, 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 don't take the <laughs> knife out. And they take the knife completely out of him. They have to like wiggle it out of his chest. Yeah. And then they're like, no, 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 don't do that. And like, should I put it back? And so he's like, no, 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 no. Stabs him again. He puts it back. Yeah. Just, oh man. A rule of comedy. When you're told to not do something, you, you have fucking to do it. Do it. Um, that was a beautiful yacht. Yes. A gorgeous yacht. Uh-huh. I and, wanted and to be there. still, still. Adam Sandler was right in the beginning when he goes, oh, I thought it was going to be bigger. I thoroughly <laughs> thought it was going to be bigger. I believe. Because that's not a huge yacht. No. That's not an, that's not an outlandish yacht. Uh-huh. Okay. I've seen I've on Instagram, because I don't go on yachts, guys. Unless you think I do. Then I'm on. I frequent yachts. I've seen all, you in a picture in front of a yacht. That doesn't necessarily mean that you've boarded it. Boarded it. If it's the Hornblower yacht in San Francisco Bay, that doesn't count as a yacht. Oh, that doesn't count? Dude, I've never been on a yacht. People keep saying- Have you saying, ever been on a cruise? Uh, no. We got to get on a cruise, but I would love to get, go on a cruise. What happens on a cruise stays on a cruise because it's in international waters. Ooh. Um, this movie I had a gentleman by the name of Luke Evans in it. Ooh, and he's the guy that plays Gaston in the 2017 version he's of Beauty and the Beast. Jason Statham's little brother in the Fast and Furious uh, franchise. Shaw or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I little got Baby Shaw. Baby Shaw. Um- he drives the best cars, solely Rolls. Yes. He's driving Rolls Royces through all of the movie, and it is, or being driven in Rolls Royces throughout all of the movie. He's living the life, man. He, he, he that I believe was, was rich. The yacht I believed was wealth. The Rolls Royces proved to me he was wealthy. The yacht told me he was rich. Uh huh. Mm? Ah, that's a good way to put mm. it. Um, I don't know. One day I hope to own a yacht because the only boat that people believe that I've been on is the f- whatever the this banana is. boat that took you over here. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Well, you it. said I, that with confidence, man. I take it right out of your mouth. Buddy. Side note: not from the Philippines. Still, um, they fucked up that Ferrari at the end. I know I'm jumping back and forth, but it, that hurt my soul. Oh when they yeah, fucked up that Ferrari, dude. So like, no wonder they didn't want to put the numbers out for how much money they spent on this film. Shit. Uh, but I don't think outlandish. Do you want to guess? Do you want to try and guess? I would love to guess, and you'd know that my judgment of currency spent on film is Yeah, so you guess first, and then, and, then, and then I'll give my more reasonable 
probably more realistic guess. Okay, so Netflix funded this. This is Happy Madison production. You got some top billed actors. Yeah, um, yeah. Would you like to hear the top bill? Yeah, go around the head before I go into this uh, whole. Uh, and I do want to say this movie takes place in um, Italy and France and Spain. I think that's because Adam Sandler really only does movies where he travels now. Uh, mostly filmed in Canada. Uh huh. Uh, and a couple of places in Italy, uh-huh. Milan and things like that. Milan was used for Monaco instead, so they never they didn't fly to France at all or Spain. Oh, um, mostly Canada and Italy. So that tells me they saved a little bit of money that way as there opposed to r- moving the cast around. Adam Sandler also fun fact: when he does a movie, has to have a full on basketball court built for him to play because really? he likes to shoot hoops in between. Are shots. you fucking serious? Mm-hmm. That's like Kanye having to have a golden toilet, a f- new golden toilet. Uh, wherever he fucking goes. I don't know if it's actually made of gold, but I know it has to be a new unused toilet. That's the only way he'll fucking take a shit or a piss. An unused toilet is not a crazy request. And a crazy request is like only green M&Ms. We're looking at you, Eddie Van Halen. Um, this movie is top billed. Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston, Luke Evans, Gemma Arterton, Adele Akatar, and Terrence Stamp. You sound very confident saying all those names. Well, the last three um, may not be in English. <laughs> Yeah, we don't know how much money. So, uh, money, number. My Give guess me. is a good, I'll go with a 50 mil. I was is that think, outlandish? I, no, that's not actually. I'm thinking that's that's probably, I was thinking that's probably about the top. Mm-hmm. My guess was going to be closer to the 20 mil. Okay, less than half of mine. <laughs> well, because because I wanted to say like maybe 10, but that doesn't seem like they'd be able, Adam Sandler alone is going to be making Yeah, you know he dollars. makes a shit ton. Oh, dude. Do you think... Adam and Jen are making collectively 20 mil. I would assume so. Like at one That's point. That's probably the budget for them. Hell yeah. And Kyle can probably ask for any amount of money. Well, a good amount mm-hmm. of money. Yeah, a good amount. He's definitely built up his repertoire since. I like your guess. $50 million is what we'll stand with, guys. Okay. And we'll never know, so we're right. Take our yeah. word for it. If you find out, email us. You got something Should to we say keep there, going? Buddy? No, yeah. What else you got about the movie? Should we keep going, dude? I, uh, the movie was so fun. It was a fun ride. Like, I don't have a lot of Good notes. Pacing. I keep looking at my notes and they're not helping yeah. me because and I, I think just that's thoroughly, the point of this yeah, podcast. I, thir- I thoroughly dude. enjoyed this movie. I, I, it's I, I don't agree with any of the ratings that it was given because even for a comedy, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm preparing myself for, for. Uh, through the roofs type of comedy where it's unbelievable, but there was still some groundedness in this, and I fucking did appreciated Kyle, it. Did um, Kyle, what's his face? Um, did he direct that Workaholics Netflix movie? Um, you mean a Game Over Man? Yeah, yeah, that was that was him. Okay, I like this one so much more than I like. Oh, Game absolutely! Over Man. I think they are still trying to figure it out. I def- I definitely this, this enjoyed one, that yeah. still because I enjoyed the actors in it because I like Workaholics. I'm I, watched, I watched, yeah, I watched it for that, knowing that it was a Workaholics guys together together yeah. again. But I was disappointed in that movie because it seemed like a, a long Workaholics episode to me. Yeah, yeah, right. right. They're like, pretty just, much almost the same characters. Oh, Adam Devine was pretty much yeah. the same character. Doesn't change the fact that he was funny, but yeah, still. Um, this, yeah. is a, this is a good movie, guys, so you should check this movie out. I hope you guys know that um, the ratings don't do it justice at all. I think Netflix is going to do good. Uh, do you want to guess how many people watched this movie in the first 72 hours upon uh, release? Well, just like Currency, I have a bad judgment of how many people like will tune into a Netflix film mm-hmm. within the first week. So what did I say for the Currency? 50 mil. Uh, I'm going to go with the same number. Of uh, people. Everyone <laughs> everyone who watched it a paid person a dollar. A dollar. <laughs> You think Netflix costs one dollar per person? <laughs> um, three hundred. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 thirty point nine million people. Thirty eight. Yeah, almost thirty one million people watched this in the first seventy two hours. My this guess was, was still in the bracket. One of the biggest uh, opening weekends for Netflix. Uh huh. Um, and I and I think it's got to be because of Adam Sandler and, and Jennifer Aniston. You see them right next to each other. You get kind of excited. You get a little bit of ex- you. You know um, they work well together. I'll be honest. No, when I first saw them together, I did not think it was going to be a good mix. Yeah. Sometimes um, Adam Sandler in his movies is paired up with in, um, unbelievably beautiful women. Yeah. And it's unbelievable to me. Yeah. Um, he did really well. With Drew Barrymore. I think him and Drew Mar- Barrymore They're are a good, gr- good duo, mix. man. Um, I think him and Jennifer Aniston. This is their are actually, second film together. The first film was Just Go With It, and I think it took place in Hawaii. And I, I do remember that movie. Yeah, that was one about. might come up later in the yeah. podcast. Actually, maybe. Yeah, I remember watching it, and I do remember Blended, enjoying right? it. Is that what it's called? What? Blended? No, that's the one he did with Drew Barrymore. Just Go With It. Just Go With It's the one where he fakes his marriage. Yep, I got. Yeah, you. that's what uh, it was, right? Ding and dong, I think that's unagi. all. 
Um, yeah, um, really enjoyed that movie. Jennifer Aniston still looks really good. She has a very I'm cute a, outfits. She, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, the dress she wears uh, through like mo- the white like flowery dress is definitely mm-hmm. something that if like I was dating somebody and they wore, I'd be like, yeah, man, you're making summer work. Yeah, wear that more. I would wear that dress, but I couldn't pull it off. Uh, would you wear those uh, wedges that she was wearing? <laughs> no, she got those. Dude, at she was cro- she was walking over a ledge like on the outside of a building. With those wedges on, I'd be shitting my pants. And the pants that has shit in it would outweigh myself, and then I'd fall because of my heavy shit. Nothing to say to that? I, I, no, I'm... <laughs> I've said worse things. You have, You've said worse <laughs> things, and you're going to give me that I was thinking, I was thinking, I was trying to... I was going to respond in equal kind of joke, but... Um, was it inappropriate? No, I just... Got, you, you, no, you got the poop in the pants, got it. You got it. Knocked it right out. Good one. Knocked it right out of the park. I didn't want to have to... I, I didn't, you make me feel really good no, about no, no, myself. It was good. It was good. You, you should poop in your pants, Kristen, when you're on I'm the I'm not ledge. saying I no, should no, no. poop in my hey, pants. Poop in your pants is cool, guys. If Adam Sandler taught me anything... Cool kids pee their pants. That's what Adam Sandler taught. Ah, oh, dude, good one. Thank you. I'm trying to make some cool references. Billy Madison. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would. I. I, I want to ask you. My. Um. Have yes. you ever taken a trip? Have you ever been to Europe? No, dude. I've never been overseas. So when my parents they just got back from a trip to Spain and they did a bus tour, just like did kind they, of they hate said, themselves? No, they loved it. It was definitely not like that. But I laughed out loud thinking to myself that. Because that's what you think a bus tour is going to be like. Exactly mm-hmm. what they describe it as mm-hmm. um, is exactly what you think the bus tour is is like. And I think that's just really funny to me that my parents just came back from a bus tour in Spain. They looked really happy when they came back. Yeah, I mean, I'd do it. I, I still mean, my do parents it. are retired, so they know how to travel. They go out yeah. and do their thing. I think I'd freaking hate myself if I was surrounded by loud kids. Like, because I could, I, oh, I, I hate don't know. kids. Yeah, kids are horrible. There's a particular like age bracket in which I just want to take a kid and just like throw, throw, shake the kid. Just like go away, please, please. You're giving me that. No, no, no I'm again. sorry. You're because I was thinking, I was thinking things, of the age dude. range. I'm trying to figure out the age oh, range because right, to me the age range is because right, to me my initial age range was zero to sixteen. But mm-hmm. I realized we cannot say that we would be shaking zero year old babies, right? That's horrible. no, no, no. I would never shake an actual baby. I, I especially uh, not to get it away. This is all farcical. But I would say I don't like kids from the ages of zero to sixteen. Yeah, they fucking think they're the shit. I, and, That's I, why. I, I, and even teenagers kind of. Teenagers legitimately scare me. Yeah. A group of teenage boys is maybe the scariest thing on the planet. Like how big of a group? Uh, three or more. Okay. Because uh, now they're trying why are they to scary? Jock, because they're trying to jock each other up. They don't give a shit. They mm-hmm. don't have money to lose. They're kids. They don't know their strength. They, they a group of four kids will fuck you up in and out. A you group think of so? four. Oh, dude. No, nobody <laughs> could fight off four teenage boys at once. Teenage as in like sixteen year olds because like a mix. A gang. Most gang members are in their teens, dude. Most gang members don't even that, make it to their. But 20s. they actually they have guns. Is this like a physical? I don't care. I don't dispute? care. Three or more teenagers is a scary thing. I would rather fight a lion than than four teenagers in a dark alley. If I was a fat, if I was fat Christian still, I could take on the whole entire Benicia High School. I would steamroll them. You know what steamrolling is? No, what's steamrolling? Is that when you shit on someone's chest? No, that's like, uh, say, do you remember having sleepovers as a kid? And then, like having your buddies. And oh, you like guys a pillow like, party. So you invite over a goop and then you, you put the pillow, over, the pillowcase over him and you just start like, beating the shit no, out of him. No, dude, this isn't a full metal jacket, man. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. Oh, you use soap like, in a sock and beat them with the sock. and No, that's no? worse. Uh, a lock? A lock, a lock exactly in the sock? what I'm talking about. You say worse shit than me and I at least respond. No. Uh, okay. Steamrolling. I do this to my girlfriend all the time. Gross. Uh, no, it's nothing like that. If you're on the same bed. Okay, I'll lay down. Show me how to do it. No, I'm not going to do Right all right, all right. I'm laying down, Christian. Show me how to do it. Okay. Imagine if I was obese. He's not laying down, um, and I was laying next to you, and I said steamroll, and I literally just roll my body and crush you like a steamroller. My you're girlfriend is four foot eleven, and I do that to her. And you're, gonna, she, you're gonna do that to the whole high school, Benicia High School. I'm gonna do that to children I don't like. <laughs> you know when Anakin killed those younglings. Oh shit! He's a lightsaber man. You, you're telling me that I'm worse with my steamroller. Anakin saw you do that and was like, damn it. Fuck, how can I That's hide this? That's how you do it. All right. Um, Christian, why don't we go ahead and wrap this thing up? Uh, why don't we give our best person on set award? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Kyle Newcheck, man. That's a good move. I'm glad you picked that because I pick Adam Sandler. That's I think yeah that's a good yeah, move too. I, I I'm a little worried that this might be a cop out to give the lead actor and the director the best person on set award, but uh, mm. they brought a lot to this film. You yes. can definitely see the Adam Sandler Absolutely. comedy. You can definitely see the Kyle Novacek uh, direction. Yes, uh, Jennifer Fanison is a right like this is just a she's good solid movie, guys. I don't know how it's so low on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a silly movie. It's a comedy. It's yeah. a murder mystery. Yes. Did you catch the joke at the very end? Spoilers. <laughs> No. Did you see the train that they're on? 
No. They're on the Oriental Express. Oh, shit. As the, as, as nice the train pulls circle. away and the camera pulls out, they're on the Oriental See, Express. See, I love the subtleties, dude. I love it. Uh, Kyle, you did great. Adam, yeah. you did great. Oh, Everyone did awesome. Yeah. What's you, up? Um, so... Kyle and Adam, great job, guys. Awesome movie. Yeah. We thoroughly suggest you should watch this movie and rate it on Rotten Tomatoes, guys. Let's get these ratings up. Let's yeah. see if we can make Give this Give them movie. reviews. Bump bump them up, man, because they deserve five stars on IMDb. Does that IMDb do star a star system? I'm not sure how they do it. I, we just read an IMDb It's review. six out of ten, though, and usually it's like 5.3 or okay. 4 point something. You know, just give it the highest score that you, you think it deserves, because really, just, just give it That's a check. That's a ten. It's a ten. Yeah. Um, um, go ahead and check us out, guys, on the internet. We have a couple of uh, social medias: yeah, Twitter, you can check us Instagram, out on, mm-hmm. Facebook. Our handles are ICBTB Podcast. Yep, that's on it almost can't be anything. that bad. Yep, podcast. Yeah, if you want to email us any movies that you think that we should watch and uh, check out and Definitely. defend, mm-hmm. you can email us at ICBTB Podcast at Yahoo dot com. Um, yeah, send us the movie that you're most embarrassed to admit that you like, and we're gonna try and figure out um, why you shouldn't be embarrassed by it. Yeah, it's probably a good movie. Please stick yeah. to your guns, guys. If you really liked, um, if you really liked Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. There's I'm not talking about like the that. second one. Uh-huh. I'm talking about the OG Ace Ventura. Uh-huh. Uh huh. We'll make it. We'll we'll figure out why it's good. Not just because of Jim Carrey, but because of the dolphin. Everything acting. else. Yeah. Yeah. Give that dolphin. Give that a dolphin freaking award. An Oscar. Yes. Yeah. Um, also, we have a an improv show coming up with Dragon Viper Cobra uh, at Monkey House uh, or M- Creek Monkey Tap House yep. on July 26th. It's a Friday, so check it out if you guys are around. Yeah, we'll be uh, there, guys. Check yeah. us out. Other than that, um, we'll see you next time. Take it easy. Remember, guys. Goodbye. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Oh.